about three miles in, all burnt out again. Four and a half miles in. And now starts the most brutal part of the hike. It's about from here two and a half miles up to low low peak, about a mile and a quarter to the false peak, but it's brutally steep the next mile. This is from the top of the Fultz Peak, Fultz Little Peak. You can see all of the Missoula Valley up into the Flathead, the Bob Marshall. Visibility is probably about 90 miles today. On the south side of Lolo Peak, looking straight south now, there's the Heavenly Twins. That's St. Joe. You can see the top of St. Mary's Peak, just to the east of St. Joe. That's Little Joe. And that's Sweeney Peak. And this is Lolo Creek going down to the town of Lolo. I'm on the south side of Lolo Peak. So that's Lolo Peak. You have to go down that little ridge. That's the Faults Peak. Then you have to follow that ridge line all the way around until that low point there. And that's a steep section down to Carlton Lake. And then you have to go up Carlton Ridge in order to get back to the trailhead. And then my truck is about seven miles that direction. That's Highway 12 going up Lolo Pass. This is the trickiest part of the hike you gotta pick your way through this rocky ledge that's a false peak on the way back i took a different path i came down this rock boulder field a little tricky Because of elevation or burnout, less than 10% of this trail has shade. I'm actually in one of the areas that has a little bit of shade. As far as water, there's this little stream, which is 
about one and three quarter miles from the trailhead. And then there's Carlton Lake at four and a half miles and then another little stream at five miles in.